What's going on guys? Welcome back to RC Everyday. This is going to be the final video in the build series of the RC 4-wheel drive K10 build-off truck, the blue truck here in the background. Um, we got a care package today from Old Son RC. Um, I've talked about him a lot in videos. Um, you see his tan step side GMC that won a bunch of trophies at USTE a few years ago. Top-notch builder. He uh, said he was going to send me some stuff and uh, he, <laughs> he did send me a lot of stuff. So he sent me a ton of like spare blazer parts. I've got a grill and other grill pieces. And we've got lots of blazer parts, mirrors, things to replace things I've messed up over the years. Um, there's a whole other dash. There's <laughs> a whole, whole lot of stuff. We've got a blazer top and a whole blazer back half from where he's cut one down to make a pickup. Um, I have to ask him how he cut so nice and precisely. I'm guessing he did it by hand because <laughs> it's smooth and level. Wow. Yeah, I'm jealous. Um, but anyway, he sent me a nice note. Such nicest guy in the world. He sent me, this is a big help. All the spare hardware from Blazer body sets. Emblems and those, those uh, self-threading M3 stuff. We've been using a lot on the Rat Rod kits. Those will come in super handy. Um, we got windows. We got a spare Hilux windshield, which actually I, uh, I used my last one, and that's going to be handy. Some blazer tail lights and side windows as well. So appreciate all of that. But the main thing he sent was some scale stuff. He is a master craftsman, and uh, he made some scale stuff for me for the bed of our uh, farm truck. So if you remember in the last video, um, he handmade these boots. And uh, I won't be taking those to events and stuff, but we're going to use them for for this. That's something too too precious. I don't want to lose on the road. But he couldn't stand to see me use these crappy store-bought bales of hay. And they do smell like hamster bedding. So we'll be throwing those outside for the hamsters. Uh, <laughs> he made handmade bales of hay. Actually tied with twine. <laughs> Better size and proportion. I never intended to keep the toilet back there. I don't know that I will. I've got four bales of hay. This stuff gets pretty heavy. I think, I think we'll just rock three for now. Uh, he was saying he hoped they dried. I don't know. I guess he compacts it and gets them wet and does something that looks so much better. <laughs> I hope that's uh, actual Old Sun RC yard clippings. That'd be cool. <laughs> and these come with a warning. Purina Chow. He, get, he made one of these for Jeremy a while back, and it actually had dog food in it, and I think one of Jeremy's dogs got after it. Uh, this one, I can't tell what's in it. It feels like sand. It's actually a very scale kind of crumple with the bag. <laughs> it actually has some weight to it, too. See it? It's like a, what, a 60-pound bag of dog food? Oh, this is 100 pounds. Wow. It's old school. Now, the note in there says, bag isn't waterproof. <laughs> so, uh, to be careful at events so i'm gonna arrange some of this stuff around play with it for a minute and then we're gonna get this thing out for a drive we've got to take some good pictures and uh do a short video of it running to enter into the rc4 drive build off and i'll go email that off and uh, yeah we still got time i don't know when this video is out i'm sorry i've got time now i don't know about when this video is out april 14th was the deadline um this video should be right around then i think I've got a lot of videos built up, but I have no idea what day it is. Actually, I don't know. Lost in time. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get this out, run it, get some get some driving footage of it. In the last video, we did all the electronic upgrades. This thing should run amazingly, handle well with the new servo and uh, Fusion 2-in-1. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I like that layout. Put the boots up here, but you can't really grab them over the thing, but whatever. Get, you get the idea. Um, I like it adds a lot of weight. It's going to make this thing perform even better. And uh, it'll be t flopping around on the trail a little bit, moving around. Um, what was I going to say? I, th these builds could always go further. I know I don't have a driver. I, I'm very picky about scale drivers. And I I just don't, they don't fit quite right. Um, we did the wrong kind of bench seat on this. Um, really should have done the shrink one or just made one. It had a little more leg room. And uh, I mean, you could always go further to making a steering wheel turn and things like that. But I, that's about the point. I kind of lose interest. I like to do the patina and the scale look. I'm not really that into driving the rigs that much anymore. It's just about creating an, an image out of what's in your head. 
a whole scene basically like dioramas the scene of this truck is it's just an old farm truck somebody's kept up and kept on the road still use it to haul hay um put a new seat cover in it recently <laughs> bought a steering wheel it was too big <laughs> and uh yeah it's just a fun all-around build so anywho let's get a battery in this thing and go for a test drive that's kind of a short video um just proof of concept get the photos get some video of it running and uh enter into the build off i forgot to mention earlier i did glue a skull wintergreen can on the dash <laughs> i was out of scale packs of cigarettes so i uh yeah i had to put something in there that's about all i had left so um these build offs that i don't really do build offs ever i don't like pressure um that's why I don't build for other people because there's always that pressure. If I'm building for myself, then I can take my time and just let things happen naturally. Um, when, when there's something on the line or, you know, there's money involved and it takes some of the fun out of it for me. So that's, that's one of the main reasons I typically don't do this kind of thing. Um, I just thought it'd be fun. I love these and I was in the mood to build one. Uh, I'm really glad they extended the deadline a little bit. Helped me out. Uh, didn't think I was going to make it there for a while, but, uh, yeah. It's not about winning and losing, it's just about building something cool and having fun and learning some new techniques and sharing it with you guys. So, uh, and like I said, we could always take this thing further. We could have got a driver and uh, put a headliner in it, put the engine bay in it, which we still could do, but I don't know. I, once I got this truck together, the, the electronics combo, these tires and wheels, I immediately saw this as my build to drive at events this year. Um, so I don't wanna, you know, I don't need an engine bay for that. I'm not gonna enter galleries at events. That's that's not for me, that's for you guys. I'm here just to share ideas and uh, get you guys thinking and building cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so uh, by now, check out RC4 Drive on social media. I'm sure they're doing the judging or may have already, and we'll see if we want anything. And I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys build with it, with these trucks and uh, look forward to seeing what RC4 Drive has for us in the future. Uh, thanks again the old son RC for sending me out the scale things for the bed um, It's a nice touch that actually added that weight in the back helped a lot um, If you remember this was the RTR chassis that the blue truck came on so we lowered it a little bit um, It really didn't get much rubbing. I had more rubbing in the back than I did anywhere else Getting in that rear fender just a little bit out of the front We've got way more steering angle than we need. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Should probably set the steering stops, but these K44s have the the uh, XVD shafts in them already from on the RTR, so not too terribly worried about it. But I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm take a few pictures here and get this submitted off so I can get that off of my plate and just start enjoying the truck. So get out there and have some fun with the hobby, guys. Keep it scale, and I'll see you next time.